about Harriet at 13. He's a really screwed up kid. But um, basically, all the people Harry goes to love are taken away from him in this film. And Harry's character is a lot more angry, a lot more intense. Harry Potter. You see completely different sides to the characters. And Hermione kind of get past the whole um, nerd, you know, bookworm type thing. And you see a different side to her as well. Filthy little mudblood. Foul, loads of them evil little cockroach. Oh, oh. That felt good. Hagrid 3 essentially is just about kids turning into teenagers without any, if you completely blank out all the wizard stuff, all of that, it's about kids becoming teenagers. It's... Sir, it's Quidditch tomorrow. Then I suggest you take extra care, Mr. Potter. So this, this movie also, I just love how it captured kind of that teen, teen angst. Yeah. How do you think Alfonso does that? He's got a perpetual adolescent quality about him. He has a very light touch day to day. <laughs> Most of the conversations were not about the film or character. It was just about what it, what it means to be 13. And the rest, it was pretty much about allowing the flow of, of that energy to come through. Sirius Black has escaped from Azkaban to come after you. Yeah. But they'll catch Black, won't they? I mean, everyone's looking for him. And the Dementors, too, are incredible. The well, Dementors are depression, basically. What's going on? The Dementors give this kind of presence to everything where you kind of feel really cold. I think one of the scariest shots of the film is actually um, in Quidditch when the Dementors' mouth comes like right up to Harry's. Expecto Patronum! What would be a happy thought to drive a Dementor away? To be down my boat, actually that would be it. Nice quiet loch somewhere, sitting fishing with my boy. One of the happiest moments I've ever felt was when I saw the first film for the first time. It was, that, was, that was a really amazing experience. I hope he finds me. Because when he does, I'm going to be ready. You must look beyond.